Okay, we're a little bit late this week with our um, Friday video because we found this Nomad PC web browser demo from the developer of Nomad. So I just thought it'd be great to show you what it is. It's very limited, but it shows great promise for the future. And you might want to, presuming that the link is still there, which I'll put down in the uh, description below, you might want to go and check it out and just see what Nomad looks like in a web browser. <laughs> is I'm just going to quickly show you just for a few minutes um, what it is that I've seen um, in Nomad. Uh, we've got uh, about a five or ten minute uh, time lapse video that I've annotated at the end of this section here. So let me just talk you through what I can see and, and where we're at with, with the, the demo that we've got before we launch into that. So first of all, you will notice instead of using the iPad and the pencil that we normally see with Nomad, we're using a a Wacom and this is an Intuos Pro it's the medium one this is my go-to kind of um, uh, setup for traveling and it's the one that's in my bag all the time and has been for years so this is the one that most people end up using in studios and when I've seen people in universities and training this is the one that you will see uh, almost everywhere um, so uh, I've got it with a keyboard at the moment so you what you will notice um, if you can see in the the camera at the bottom of the screen now that the, the commands are very much like zbrush or blender so i'm using alt forward click so that gives me a pan control it's it's very smooth it's literally exactly the same as you'd expect from any other program um let me just do some little settings just to test what the settings will do so i always put voxel remesh on the bottom down here on the bottom left um i can go in and i can set it for me because i'm left-handed so that'll bring these buttons over here to the left now, and that's always useful for me. Uh, and that's enough just to show you. Um, so you've got all the usual tools, so move. Uh, again, very, very fluid, I'm, you know, not seeing any issues with this whatsoever. I, I really would like to see this go to a full app for PC. Overwrite the project, so yes. Um, incidentally, while, while we talk about that, overwriting the project and um, there's no save functionality or open it, it really is a tech demo and um, so don't be disappointed if you get in and think that you can use this um, and hopefully it's there when you get to it because in the future obviously this this link might might not be there so hopefully you're someone who can get and have a go of it in this in this weekend or this week before it moves on um, if you look at the wireframe um, let me just turn it on down here at the bottom left and then I'll show you something like this. So this is um, uh, your, um, oops, won't click there. So I'll just, I'll put, if you look down here in the bottom left, I've got touch on as well, by the way, um, you've got your quick icon buttons there. So multi-resolution will be lost, that's because we're using a remesher, and as you can see, that was that was instant for remesh. So the remeshing feature works absolutely fine. I haven't tested this up to any humongous level yet, so you know maybe maybe that's when it will start to to to, to fail a little bit. But to be fair, this looks pretty pretty solid in in the version that that, that he's got out at the moment. So um, that you know the sculpting is the same as you would expect in 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 any program like this. It's not. This isn't doing anything like Sculptress Pro. It's not giving me any um, a revo You know, it's not doing any uh, dynamic tessellation at the moment. It simply is just sculpting, so it's affecting the the surface normals. One thing that I sometimes don't get is I'm not getting shift to smooth at the moment, um, so I'm having to put smooth on down here and smooth it. But um, you know, that that could be that I've just not explored it enough yet. Um, so we'll, we'll have a look at that as as the, as the hours roll by. So let me just look at the menu with you for a second. So if you look up here at the top left, um, you've got uh, some limitations. So it says it's a trial version, one layer per mesh, three undos, one um, pro project active only, um, which is quite normal. I would expect for a t for a tech demo. Uh, and no import or export, and that's the big thing. So this isn't going anywhere. This model's not going out. So just be aware. Don't spend any time and 
and then moan that you can't you know you can't do anything with it because this is just to prove the 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 point of the the the, um, the, the technical side of things so um you've got your you've got the ability to do multiple um uh, items in a scene so that's good again it will be limited come over to topology i didn't you know i've not really gone too much farther in that what i did notice was that the hdris are limited to two and you can't bring any in yet so that's fine and you've got your normal mat cap and pbr so the mat cap's great because you've got your full set of, of normal mat caps in there so that's pretty solid if i'm honest with you for a, for um just to allow you to get going um, don't forget that isn't an error that's because i've got two in the scene um so um let's just have a quick look at uh, a 25 30 minute sculpt and i'll talk over that um but by all means go and have a go while the link is there i'm sure this will develop into something in the future but take a look at it while it's quite new so i i blocked out um a, a very quick character with us just from a sphere using the normal remeshing function so i just pulled out the neck uh, pulled out some ears then remeshed it um, uh, all of this is the stuff that I've been teaching on this YouTube channel and in the new course that's coming out this week um, or, or next week now um, in this experimental build you've got um, pretty, pretty much the experience is exactly the same so what, what you're seeing me doing there is just using remesh and uh, I had some difficulty with the smooth getting the smooth to work other than switching smooth on as a brush so normally you would hold down shift and that just doesn't seem to work on, on, on the, the PC and the version that I've got. So I was when you will see me here switching back and forth um, with the with smooth, which is quite annoying. And I imagine that's just a, either a blip at my end or a blip in the, 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 the build. Because I do think later on it does start to work a little bit. I'm using crease, bro crease brush there, which is like damn standard in ZBrush, uh, or to some degree it's like it. It's not as good as damn standard yet. Um, and, but everything else is is, is working very, very, um, you know, it responds really well out of the box. In this session, I was remeshing and subdividing just to see what I can get. I didn't go above a few million, a couple of million is the maximum I tried. But everything um, that you would expect, like flatten and and the um, uh, clay brush it all works perfectly this is the triplanar primitive that's in there now that's the same as shadow box in in zbrush and i just used it to make some glasses so i just quickly blocked out the shape of a of a, um, a set of glasses on one side and um, just started looking at shaping that up and then you know you can thicken it up with the gizmo um, you, you know, I was thinking about should I chop the front off or, and then I decided not to. So I was playing with all the different things like the masking settings, the um, trim brush settings and, and just just seeing what, what I could get out of it. So I'll pop the glasses on and, and you've got all the, the, you've got the layers exactly the same um, or the scene, the, the, the scene that gives you the ability to have all your models on different layers. Um, symmetry is the same. So there you can see I've just done symmetry and pop the glasses across. Back to triplanar to make the um, glasses, um, the you know the, the the handles for the glasses uh, or the arms should I say? Um, and again, just very basic shapes, and then just just using again didn't even use trim there, just literally just crushed it down with the gizmo tool. But quickly you can see, I think this session was 25, 30 minutes, something like that. But already it, it, you can block things out exactly the same as you can in all your other sculpting programs. So. It handles the processes really, really well, um, and it, you know it didn't even touch the system resources. And I tested it on a um, a 64, uh, no, sorry, tell a lie, 16 gig, very, very basic machine with um, uh, it's got a 1070 in it, um, and it, I, I, you know, I didn't notice any slowdown at all, which you wouldn't expect with a little web browser. Um, uh, app like this so I, I really enjoyed it with a couple of things that were, were a little bit funny and I think they're more to do with with Windows and the Wacom drivers than it was to do with Nomad so I couldn't get things to press all the time so which which I think I've already said it but it was very strange because if I turned off the um, or turned on touch so I can use touch on the Intuos then I could do it first click with my finger so that instantly made me think it's it's about the drivers and it's about 
Um, it, you know, it's about the hardware rather than the software, really. So I'll have a look at that this week while I'm playing with it. So by you know, by all means, if you can, if you can get that to work um, seamlessly and find the settings, then just post it in the comments down below for me. That would be useful for everybody else watching. Uh, painting is exactly the same. Um, I, I didn't try to load in any um, alphas. I don't know whether you can actually, but it, again, it would be worth having a look at. So I just use the basic alphas. Um, uh, and just to, just to see what you know what they were looking like. So I did my normal process, paint the face with a bit of red in the cheeks, um, uh, a lot of blues and greens around the chin, and the yellows on the the top where the the, the skin and the and the fat layers are, and then just painted over the top. So all of that worked really well. You know, I'm, I'm getting nice gradation in the in the painting, um, and it just came together as I would expect. Really, re re really happy with the the, the overall experience. Um, you can see there, I've knocked off the symmetry for a minute, and the character came together in in, in no time. As as I, I didn't really feel like I was on a different device, so I'm very used to sculpting on a PC. So, um, the the iPad sculpting is the newer thing to me. So. This this is a very very common and you know normal experience for, for, for me and for a lot of you it will be if you're from a PC background or even a Mac background it's the sculpting is the, the, the is very standard experience now um, so yeah that was that was where I ended up with him in in about twenty minutes so um, I I don't know if I would use this over ZBrush or Blender but the fact that we can do it is interesting and if you don't have ZBrush. Um, uh, obviously you can have Blender because it's free but um, this is one to watch out because this could be going uh, you know you never know where the developer's going to take this so it'd be well worth keeping an eye on it